Hey guys, so you are in my bathroom today. I'm sure that you can also hear an echo. Um, I am getting ready this morning to go into work and we have had the coldest winter thus far, <laughs> starting basically on Halloween. And ever since then, sorry, I just hit a cup. <laughs> Okay, so ever since then, I feel like people have been complaining about their skin getting drier and stuff like that. So, I wanted to show you guys my little tips and tricks on what I do to keep my skin moisturized and looking glowy and fresh in the winter time. Especially if you're in the Midwest or in areas where you tend to get a little bit more of those cold, brittle, dry winters. This is what I have been doing recently and it has been working really good for me. I have just rinsed off a face mask. I did the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me turn my brightness down. Okay, so I just did this and it leaves like a kind of coating over your face. Now what I'm gonna do is go in with my moisturizers. So I'm gonna be going in with my Origins Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. It looks just like this. I purchased this actually in the summer before going to Hawaii with my sister. And I am just about to hit the bottom of this, but this came in one of those gift like bag travel size. So this is travel size, you guys, and I've had it that long. Um, so if you're ever wanting to try out any products or anything and you find one that is comes, oh my god, let me focus. If you find a few that you like or that you've wanted to try that's in one of their gift bags and it's travel size, I definitely recommend you do so because, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're using it the right way, it should last you a pretty decent amount of time. Now I'm gonna go in with my Clear Improvement Pore Clearing um, Moisturizer here. Also by Origins. This is because I tend to break out, so what I'm gonna do is just take like that much. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna take that much and I'm gonna mix it in with my Skin Smoothing Cream. This has a 24 hour um, hydrating complex in it so it's gonna help to continuously keep my skin hydrated throughout the day if it's starting to get you know towards the drier sides if you're out in really harsh winds so that is what it looks like I'm just gonna mix it together here on my hands and then I always start at my neck and work my way up I'm just gonna let this sit for about five minutes so I'm just gonna kind of chill and you know let it do its thing one of the best things that you can do for your skin and your body is obviously hydrating um, I usually try to drink one of these a day and I've been drinking just right out of the jug especially because I need a water softener at my house which I finally have we just need to install it so that's that's a different project for another day but I've noticed since trying to do this and getting more intake of water into my body, it's really helped with clearing my skin, as many know, and keeping it hydrated. That is like the biggest thing for me right now is trying to keep it hydrated. Even if you have oily skin, it's good to hydrate your skin too because just because it's oily doesn't mean that it's lacking in moisture. It just means that your pores are overproducing the oils and stuff, but oils, mixed with other oils can also help with over oily skin. So something that my oily people out there can do is once or twice a week you can use like an olive oil and rub it on your skin, let it sit for like one to two minutes and then rinse it off. It's almost like the same as doing like a moisture mask, but this is gonna help to clean all that dirt and oil that you already have Repro reproducing, overproducing in your skin to flush out and kind of give you a fresh start. So try that. I learned that from my dermatologist when I was going through my cystic acne phase and it really did end up helping because I couldn't use too many harsh chemicals on my skin at that time. Um, another thing that I really am loving right now is the, oh shoot, the Lang, Langy. I don't know how to pronounce this product but i use this during the day it is a lip glowy balm and then 
at night, I use the sleeping mask. So the sleeping mask. This smells like strawberries and this smells like peaches and honestly, it is amazing. I've never had a formula feel so like silky smooth on my skin. So always make sure that you have something with you to hydrate your lips and I mean your eye area if you're not wearing makeup but your lips especially because your eyes and your lips are one of the thinnest pieces of skin. You need to make sure that you keep up on those areas or else those are the areas you would tend to notice aging and wrinkling all of that stuff. So now that I showed you guys this, oh, and I always take this with me in my purse. So I have this everywhere I go. That way during the day, I can just reapply it. It's just a thicker lip balm, but it's not like, like you don't see it sticky or anything. It just, it's so good. It's so good. It's a little bit pricey, but it's worth it for what you're getting. The next thing that I do is take my Vaseline here. I am just going to go over the areas that I would want to highlight on my face just to give it more of like that glowy look from within um, without needing to like overload my face with makeup and product, especially when you've taken the time to do a mask and really give your skin that nice skincare. This just kind of makes it look glowy without trying and not oily, like just glowy. So I hit just all of those areas. Now one thing that I do is take a pore minimizer. So this is a primer, a blur and pore minimizing primer by Maybelline. You guys have probably seen me use this plenty of times if you've watched my other videos. I just take like a pea sized. Can you guys see that? Like a pea sized amount of this and I just do the same thing that I would do with my moisturizer. Start under. And I try to hit more of my T-zone than anything because this is where I tend to get the oiliness from. <laughs> and then I take a damp beauty blender. Now this is damp with cool water. I like the feeling of the cool water on my skin. Plus I feel like if you're going to use hot water, you're probably causing more bacteria to form in your beauty blender and you're putting that on your skin. So like, no. <laughs> So I just go over and kind of pounce it along my face. One, it feels good and refreshing because of the cool water also being pushed into my skin. But two, this is kind of helping that primer really set into my skin and give me like a really smooth looking canvas. But then I don't feel like I need to use a lot of makeup if that's what I do. Um, you know, my skin's looking not too bad today, so I'm gonna probably just put on mascara and call it good, which I love having those days in the winter. Super simple. Another little tip or trick that you could do if you feel like your face is just so puffy or your eye area or something like that after doing all of this, your skin is lubricated now. So you can put two spoons in the freezer and then pull them out once you get all this stuff done and just use motions going upwards to help lift up your skin. This will close your pores and also awaken your skin so it's not so puffy and it will give bleh, and it will give you that brighter, like really glowy appearance too. So try it. At first you get that initial shock and then you start doing it and it feels really good. Um, that is like a really good trick when you're super tired and you need like that really quick boost or splashing your water with cold water or splashing your face with cold water. So that is all for today. It was super simple and quick and to the point. I just wanted to do this because I was taking time today to do it on myself. So why not show you guys? I hope that you enjoyed this mini tutorial on how to keep your skin moisturized and dewy. Welcome to the corner of my bathroom here. We're still renovating, so hopefully soon I can do like a whole house tour. That would be awesome too. But that's for something else. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. You could also share this video if you're feeling kind, and I will see you guys all later. Bye.